You guys should be lucky to know that you didn't have to endure the suffering and pain of me doing this for the last six hours, trying to get that transmission, uh, ref, uh, you know, blocker plate back in for the for the reverse gear and low gear, you know, first low or reverse gears. Um, to go back in there was not fun. I was trying to do it wrong for the first three hours or so, and then I figured out how to actually do it. And even then, it, it required a certain level of of uh, absurdity to get it to go in. And unfortunately, I already have the uh, third gear set in there already um, because I just the input shaft. This guy right here. Um, would not stay, it's like it floats, it's a floating input shaft on this car, um, it would not stay in place without that snap ring on it, so I had to get everything before that snap ring to go in, so that it would actually stay in place, so I could film a video, because I had to hold it the whole time, it was a very painful ordeal, so unfortunately there will not be a video on putting the third gear into, uh, into the car, or even the low gear into the car, it was just going to be that short little output shaft video that I made, and there's, there's going to be this video explaining um, how your first gear, reverse gear, and uh, third gear go into the back of the transmission. However, what I will do in this video is show you this hole right here um, is called your uh, reverse gear cup seal, or low reverse cup seal, um, and this is a fluid port, there'd be a check ball uh, in one of these here, I think right there, um, is where a check ball would sit, and it would give your transmission f extra fluid when you would put it in reverse or low um, through this hole here, and the reason I didn't take this out uh, in my disassembly videos is because I didn't know about it until I read it in the book, and what it actually looks like is this little thing right here. That is a cup seal, is what that is, and it's rubber on one side and steel on the other side, and it goes in just like this. So there's a uh, sort of a bevel in there, or a line, or uh, what do you call it? It narrows down, and that sits right in there like this, and that's going to line up right there. There's a hole. That is actually the hole that's on your uh, separator plate for the that jackass thing that... Uh, this guy right here that I could not get to go in um, for the longest time today. All day I spent just trying to get that one plate in. It was a real hassle. Um, but I pounded it out luckily before. Um, and it, this is the old one. The new one looks the same. It came in my rebuild kit. It's just this little half rubber, half metal grommet looking thing. And to install it you just place it right there. And it says in the book you need some specialty tool, yada yada nonsense. But actually, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver of about that size. I wish I could give you the spec. I don't know if that means anything to you. But you just stick it in the hole and bang it with a hammer a couple times to install it. Um, it doesn't hurt it at all. When I uninstalled it, I did the same thing. I just put this screwdriver in it like that. And as you can see, oh shit, hold on. As you can see, if I put this on a tip like that, it doesn't fall down it because it's beveled, just like the tip of a screwdriver. It's kind of narrowed down, so it'll stay on there. So when I bang this on, you don't have to bang it hard at all by any means. Just barely tap it, and it will, uh, it'll go back in, so I'll show you that when it's done. And there it is, in all the way. Uh, it is going to have a bit of a lip, as you can see on there, that is meant to be like that. I didn't take pictures of this before I banged it out unfortunately so I don't know if mine looked like that before or not but uh, if you look down into the hole with light which I can't show on the camera because I forgot how to use the light on this camera but uh, if you go down into there you can actually see that it is bottomed out on that so that is right where it's supposed to be so there's nothing wrong with that clutch packs are in I'll put shaft to secure everything is on the up and up so in the next video I will have the third gear, or uh, sorry, second gear um, assembly placed into here along with the band and the snap rings and all that fancy fun stuff. Um, like I said, unfortunately I can't actually do it on camera because I have nobody to hold the camera. Um, but this is going to be what's going in, is our third gear servo 
our third gear uh, spring clutch. Um, the drum for it, clutch packs, the band, all that fancy, you know, nice fun stuff. Um, I do have all the new clutches over here from my kit. So we'll be replacing all the clutches. I also have a couple of steels, but none of the steels that I have are actually burnt up or anything. They're all looking pretty brand new, so I might just keep these around um, in case I ever need to rebuild another one of these, God forbid. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you once I get this uh, band housing and all that uh, fun stuff in.